That's a much bigger issue. <laughs> Good thing I decided to build those. I just love watching them go all that like, and pick it up and go off to build their thing. It's quite enjoyable. was ready. Actually, I can watch this entire animation. Awesome. Take me with you! <laughs> I do love it. Will I die if I stand here? I don't think so. I want to see how far up I can get it. Ah, it disappears. Done. Okay. It makes sense though. <laughs> yeah, how's this going? Okay, so yeah, we're not overproducing, I guess. That's good. There was a way to fly along? Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. I guess they scrapped that because there was feature creep, maybe? A bit of that? How strong are these? 24 plus 28.8 .8 physical, damn. <laughs> They're a little better than my current piercing rounds, aren't they? Maybe when you load a train? What, to fly along? Eat my uranium. Oh wow, that's actually not bad at all. <laughs> kind of makes me wish for a spider chan that has turrets as well as rockets. <laughs> it's shooting uranium bullets and explosive shells at the same time. <laughs> Uranium rounds are pretty strong, yeah. Looks like it, damn. So, I need to think about getting some atomic missiles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a cheap recipe. Now, I was just thinking we should maybe put some speed modules into these things, but first I should probably wait for my energy network. Oh wow, he's almost done already. Um, at least this area. I'm pretty sure we started off with production at 8.9. Um, oh, okay. it depends on the time of the day. Um, 
Yeah, let's get some speed modules. How's our copper doing? Okay. But for some reason, it doesn't look like people want to go here anymore. Wait, unless this guy's going. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. Um, what was I gonna do now? Speed modules. They need more of these, actually. Oh, we're actually... Hmm. We need to up our speed by your game. Which means we need to up our advanced circuit game. Honestly, like, surprised we have a full line of everything here. Let's see if this actually works at all. Okay, that's probably not going to help all that much. You're still doing fine, for now. Kind of. And modules, here we are. So we just built six, and so we need another 24. Make sure we don't actually die at night. <sighs> That's really annoying. You know what? We need to show them what it's like. Oh, I'm dropping a few frames. Sorry. Letting you guys know. We haven't actually tested this out yet. I think as well, if I had to build another base, I'd definitely have a base with a train just to get around. Taking a little stretch there. Take ten of these, and then where are we actually doing the shelves? Down here. Oh wow, they don't stack well, but they do a lot of damage. Ah, uh, more frames dropped. Damn it. I 
Now, if I wanted to go crazy with artillery, I could. Um, I could build like an entire perimeter of just that. <laughs> and then have a belt giving them shells. Back our good old gun turret days. It's not too bad for the frames at the moment. Okay, cool. I was thinking, you know, so on your side, it's... You know it's on my side. These even need power. No. Quick, load it up. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> oh, that was fun. What's their range? Uh Minimum range is 32, automatic range 224, manual range 560. Whoa, that's pretty insane. Oh, did they just go after that? Wow. <laughs> Okay, artillery is pretty badass. <laughs> oh, no ways. No ways. That's amazing. Putting these on a train would be very fun. It's just automating it would be... Quite a pain. <laughs> oh, I gotta love that. Okay. That's maybe a little problematic. Let's just do that. And the fact that I can actually take on Behemoth by myself. I just wish there was a gun turret with a better range. That would be awesome as well. Obviously, there's a mod for that. I'm sure. Oh, these are all built. Wow, that's pretty good. And we got up to 125 gigajoules. Nice. So what else do we want to try out? Ooh, that's close. So... We still need to try this, the atomic bombs, definitely. Uh... Artillery wagons. We also need to build that remote for the artillery strikes. Hmm. The artillery wagons come with barracks built onto them? I'm assuming they do.
Oh, these guys are asking for it. Um, we also wanted to try the uranium shells and stuff. That's gonna be fun. Um, where are our explosive shells, actually? So you take explosive cannon shells, eh? Woohoo! Oh wow, range and you can increase the range on these. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, wow. Worker robot speed, that sounds like a really good thing to get at the moment. So these take explosive shells, um, hmm. How do we build explosive shells? Like that. We have lines for all of that, so we can actually start a new line. I might want to do that just because I don't want to mess up around with the current setup that it has. Keep in mind that it provokes a lot of attack there. Yeah, definitely. Thanks. I mean, you can't just have um, artillery unless it's on a train, right? And having it go to a safe place. That's going to get mildly annoying if they keep attacking that area. Um, the train needs to be safe as well, actually. What, even while it's moving? Alright, so when you're actually doing artillery strike with a train, right? Do you have to... does it actually stop? Probably, yeah. doesn't fire while moving. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think it would after thinking about it. Because it needs to target, then shoot. Okay. Thanks. I'm not sure how much I'm going to experiment with that, but it does sound like fun. Okay. That's getting really, really, really annoying. I didn't want to run all the way back there. Oops. Whoa, that was close. I almost destroyed an entire box of advanced circuits. I would not have been happy if I broke that. Okay, if I crash my car again, I'm probably going to die as well. <laughs> oh well, got me here. It's fine. That was pretty funny. Oh, 
So where exactly is it? Down here, okay. <laughs> the deadliest rave ever. Okay, now I need another car. While we're waiting for a car delivery, yeah, we still need more advanced circuits. How's the source going? Uh, with it. So our inputs are still good. Oh wait, actually they aren't. We're losing a bit of wire at the bottom. Okay. Now what I'm thinking is that we need to try and produce a lot more of these. Um, I'm just wondering... How are we going to go about that? Because I don't know if I want to be taking from existing lines of stuff. Our plastic production seems to be pretty okay actually. And we can also speed it up with some speed upgrades. But as for this... Um, the wire and electronic circuits. We'll probably need another line of resources of copper and iron. Or at least copper. Uh, yeah, and iron actually. Using quite a bit down here too. Hmm. So here would be a good place to do it. I wonder if we can speed up this a little bit. Um, yeah. You got a car by now, right? No? Oh, I don't have the order for a car, that's why. <laughs> Whoops. No, I do. Yeah, we need to set those buffer chests up to... Hmm... Oh, I'm running right past, I think. Yep. The module production? Damn it, they're just goodbye circuits. Advanced circuits, at least. I need to actually go get some level 3 module upgrades. I'm gonna take like 8 though. Yeah. 
just want to make sure we get a full line of copper wire down here. Which is pretty much the only reason why I'm doing this. Let's see what that's like. Almost. Can't really increase by much more though, can we? It's full. <laughs> right, no wait, it's actually backing up a little. A little bit. So maybe after a while it will. But anyway, that's enough for that. Um what we really need to do is set up another reduction area for this stuff. I'm just wondering if we should take from here or not. This isn't even fully producing. Oh, what's that energy like, actually? It's night time. I wanted to actually check this out. I'm going through quite a lot of energy. Hmm. Okay, so we already have another line of iron, I believe, ready to be used. Yeah, at least two. Now we need another line of copper. Hmm. Why are you empty? I was hoping this would fill up by now. What actually holds it up every single time? This train. Oh, you're being held up by someone else. These guys as well. Hmm. How do I optimize this? It'd probably be better if I actually just have a stacker like I do now. But that's a lot of work. Um, yeah. Also, where would we even do it? My unloading is still inefficient, not sure that matters here though. My unloading is inefficient. Isn't this as fast?